All right, guys, it's a cold, chilly day in December, and that can only mean one thing. It's time to cut some firewood. Alright guys, we got a pretty cool video planned today. You can see we've got a Halverson HWP 150 firewood processor mounted on a uh, cat skidster today. So this is an all-in-one machine. If you guys didn't know, we actually sell a full complete line of their products. They range from uh, log splitters to firewood processors to uh, saws. Um, we keep everything in stock we try to. So this is actually a new product. They have uh, two smaller versions of this. Um, this one will cut up to a 22 inch log. Um, they have a 120 and a 140. They both cut up to like a 16 inch log. You can squeeze a little bit bigger one out um, when it's tight. So this has been a long time coming. So the biggest feature at this one, it will cut up to a 22 inch log. You can see that big old saw bar there. And I don't know if you guys can see this little cylinder here. It's still dark yet this morning. It's actually adjustable wedge. So you can slide this thing up or down. If you notice this one has an optional six-way wedge you can do a four-way wedge but uh, I've run the 120s and 140s quite a bit in the past they're excellent machines um, we've been selling these for a couple months now and we've not been able to keep them in stock you've been selling that quick so we're gonna put this one through its paces before it's sold and make sure it's uh, living up to their standards for sure we've got a big pile of uh, firewood over there I don't know if you guys can see that logs we've cut a little bit of everything there's uh oak hickory i think there's some maple over there too it definitely will put it through its paces some bigger stuff so we're going to get this thing unloaded and see what happens Alright, we got her unloaded off the trailer and we got two special helpers today. Yeah, hi guys. You guys say hi. Hi. Say we got hi. Tucker and Hunter. So, we've got the 150 here. Hunter's got a tape measure. He's going to show you guys. This is, like I said, the bigger model. They make a 120, 140, which cuts up to 16 inch uh, logs. I've had a little bit bigger in it. This one's rated at 22 inch logs. So, we've got a 24 inch throat here yeah. that drops in. And that bar, what's it, about 26, I believe? 26. 20, yeah, 26 inch bar. And then we've got uh, 26 inches of clearance under the grab arm here too. So the biggest feature on this thing, like I told you guys earlier, is a sliding hydraulic wedge on here. So we've got this big old pile of wood over here and I've got these two strong boys here. We're gonna go to work. So I gotta get some pipe and stuff moved out of the way there and we're gonna get set up and let her rip. Another thing you guys are probably gonna ask, uh, how are we controlling this? So Halverson gives you the options, two different options. You can use a skid steer, electric steer. Um, this machine had enough buttons other than one because it takes like six functions on this. So we only had four buttons on the handles. We could have used a horn button to do the fifth function and then actually had another button up above we could have uh, used to slide the wedge. But since we're just demoing this for one day, um, 
I went ahead and used your button kit. And they offer this button kit. It just plugs into a cigarette lighter there. It's got all of our buttons. We've got them zip tied on the front side of the joystick. So you can literally put these um, processors on any any model, new or old, with that button kit. You got to have auxiliary hydraulics, of course, and it requires a case drain. That's the third smaller line. So if your machine doesn't have a case drain, um, we can install those pretty easy. All it is is a line that basically just dumps back into the hydraulic tank. So, but for today's purposes, we've just got their button kit wired up on the machine. Are you guys ready to do this? I guess. Kinda. You look cold. I am kind of cold. It's like 38 degrees. It'll be fine. All right, we're gonna get to it. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, you might notice something that's a little different here behind Tucker. Oh. We've got a John Deere skid steer. Yeah. If you guys look way over there, there's a little kitty cat on the trailer. Of course. So, yeah, so we got to running the cat for about 10, 15 minutes, getting ready to shoot a video after I figured out all the buttons on the uh, controls. And fortunately, the kitty cat quit, didn't it? Yeah. So, and it's throwing codes for emissions crap and derating it. It needs uh, plugged into computer and forestry gen stuff. It's all that lovely emission stuff. Anyway, I got the little 317 John Deere. It's actually handling this thing fine as far as uh, picking logs and stuff up. That is the smaller skid steer, smallest skid steer that John Deere makes. Did notice the hydraulic flows a little bit slower than what the cat was doing at the couple of minutes it was running, right? Um, but anyway, this is all we got. So yeah. we got a little bit done anyway. So we went to get lunch and come back and we're ready to cut some wood, ain't we? Mm -hmm, yeah. You guys can check out our wood stacking bin. These are actually cut off some army truck beds. Um, got some different ones there. We'll stack them, carry them inside, or take them to different buildings or houses, cabins, wherever we need to take it to. I think we got some more somewhere, don't we? What, the bins? Yeah, Grandpa's got some. Yeah, I, I, I thought we used to have six, so not four years. Yeah, I'm so pretty sure. sure I had quite a few more. Grandpa's probably took them all. So anyway, we're going to get this back in action here. Think the John Deere is going to keep running? Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. For sure. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it would have been nice to have a little bigger machine, but it's Saturday and that's all we got, right? Yeah, 333. 333. I can't buy one. Everything's so expensive. That's why I ended up with the kitty cat. So I just bought that cat yesterday to sell. We checked all the fluids and stuff on it, brought it out here. I was going to do a nice big video with it, and it lasted all of 10 minutes. But it doesn't matter what brand it is, the missions is just a freaking issue anymore. So, you boys ready to get back at it? Yeah. All right, let's go.
right guys wanted to show you this log I actually just cut the end of it off it was kind of nasty and crooked how big is that hunter about two about foot two foot there how big is the other way there long way 23 23 20 22 in a small spot so that biggest spot there was 24 inches and it just barely cut it. That's all it wanted to do. Um, I just want to show you guys that. Since the 150 is designed to cut up to 22 inches, the 120 and 140s are only rated at 16. I have put about 18 to them, but this log is the max size. Of course, it's on the butt end too, so it's a little bigger. So you think we're ready to let her rip? Yeah. See if we can cut that big dude. I've got her wedge raised all the way up. That is adjustable. You ready? Yeah. Here we go.
What do you think, guys? I don't know. It's tiring. Got a little pile of wood, didn't we? A little. Yeah. So we got most of our log pile done there. We got a nasty old beach. What do you think? Wood. Got a big old pile of wood. Too much wood. Too much wood. You got ahead of us. You got ahead of you? Maybe you guys wasn't going fast enough. Maybe, maybe because you got the... Yeah, and then you got some pieces So what do we think about the Halverson? I think it did really well. Yeah, I cut too. We had a few little knots and whatnot we had to help out, but yeah, we're hit. cutting some nasty, nasty hickory. You guys can see how stringy some of that is. This is oak on top, but it's nasty, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Anyway, I think it did pretty good. We did bend one little string. string. We did bend one little uh, great somehow. I don't know how, but that's like three eight six steel. I guess that tells you how strong that thing is. So, but all in all, it did really well. Um, six way wedge did good. Now we just got a bunch of wood to stack up, don't we? Yeah. Sounds like a fun time. Definitely. Well, fun. All right, let's get to work. Get that one done, Hunter? Yeah, I think so. Tucker's got one more left. We got what? That was real <laughs> smart, wasn't it? We got what, three more? Or we got three in there? Each one holds about two rick. What do you think? What? Two rick. You know what a rick of wood is? No, I do not. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> Wood's measured, at, actually in most part of the countries, they measure it by the cord. Tucker, you're not listening. So Rick is four foot tall by eight foot wide. Four foot tall by eight. So this army truck bed I know is eight foot on the outside. So you guys are about six inches narrow, so you're only about seven, six wide, but you're taller than four foot, so you're making up for that extra foot. So each side's about a Rick of wood. And a cord, I think a cord is four by four by eight. So if you got your rick cut 24 inches, two stacks, that makes a cord, I believe. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but around here we do rick, so. We've got uh, six ricks in there now. We got two more here. That makes eight. I don't know if you'll get two more there. That's close to 10, nine or 10 rick in what? About three hours of processing. Yeah. It's not too bad, is it? No. All right, you ready to keep some food in here? Yeah. Please don't crash it. Please don't. I've been it. standing on the back the other times. Yeah.
One more left, boys. Yeah. Almost there. So I got the kitty cat. Loaded it back up and I hooked the firewood processor back up to it so I can take it back to the shop on Monday. Today is Saturday. Fortunately, the kitty cat only made it about 15 minutes or so, as I said earlier. It's still in uh, missions, codes, faults, extremely high. I don't know frequency and something cat problems unfortunately i want to get my cat computer fired up i've not had that going for a while as you guys know mess with a lot of john deere stuff um that can happen to any manufacturer it doesn't matter what it is so it is a good thing we brought it out here and run it for a little bit and made sure it was all right because i did just buy this thing yesterday so anyway the firewood processor done great you guys definitely let me know in the comments below what you think of it um this is the biggest model i've got two smaller ones below that um also i have a grapple saw and a inverted splitter and i also make these where you can hook them on like a mini excavator especially the smaller ones uh the 120 size you can put on a mini excavator or a smaller farm tractor but yeah, definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about the emissions problems on all this equipment. It's just not CAT. It's everybody, and it's a big deal, especially in the equipment and the trucks. And It's just aggravating. It doesn't matter if you buy a new one or what. That's why the pre-emissions used stuff is bringing so much money. Um, you got some pre-emissions low hours. It's definitely... Uh, definitely bringing the money right now because nobody wants to deal with that you know you bring a new machine in that machine's only a couple of years old bring it in and breaks down the job and you know luckily we had had the little john deere here to get her done i think it handled it pretty good yeah lots of money what'd you, that? What'd you find oh some weird creature Ooh, cool got a caterpillar mm. it's gonna get cat. cold Oh. What'd that thing do to you? He's dead now. Is it not your friend? Oh, wow. He's friendly. friendly. You think all this is going to fit in here, boys? No. Too much. Have some for next year. That's Wait. right. So, yeah, I was counting in there. This should make about nine, nine to ten rig. It's, it's pretty good like for short pieces now. about three hours worth of processing. Well, if you guys like these videos, definitely let us know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the firewood processor. Let, you, let me know what you think of the uh, emissions issues and all this equipment now. It's freaking aggravating. I hate buying that stuff, but sooner or later, you got to fold in and buy it, buy it sometime. So hopefully someday maybe they get this stuff figured out a little better and won't have so many issues. But I doubt it. What do you guys think? What? About the emissions. About the prices of equipment? No, the emissions. Exhaust emissions, crap. Yeah. DEF fluid and all that. We hate that stuff, don't we? Yep, definitely. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Nobody likes DEF fluid. Get well, guys, we'll get this loaded up and we'll be done. What do you think? I don't know, it takes too long. It takes this, too long. You're almost done. You just got a little pile. All right, guys, we're going to catch you next time. You guys say bye? Bye. Oh, Get away. They can't, they can't see you with your face down, Tucker. There you go. <laughs> see you guys next time.